Philip Tuju brought to the surface of the Kenyan music scene with his collaboration between Saudi Soul and the choir at Upper Hill School. Phila, as he is known in music circles, had however been in music since his days at Upper Hill. Today, he is the new director of the Safaricom Choir and has gotten on to a new phase in his musical journey. My journey in music uh, well began as a struggling musician. You know, everyone else has wanted to be famous. I was part of a group called Pentamony way back in uh, the year 2002. At the time, uh, Ogopa DJs were the most famous sound. So it was more pop and our sound because we had a very strong church background and uh, a cappella music background, it wasn't very popular. But I feel that that foundation gave us the, that opportunity to grow as singers. As he takes on the new role in the choir, Philip has been thinking about his career and the new direction it is taking. The background of singing in a, in a group and singing in different harmonies has enabled me work my way uh, to understand how to compose music and arrange music and uh, with the success of now Upper Hill School Choir where I volunteered and then now forming the Red Fourth Chorus and then now getting the opportunity to, to work with the Safaricom Choir. As its new director, Philip's current task is to take the choir further. The first few weeks of the job have given him a glimpse of what's to come. Making an album with the Safaricom Choir during the pandemic will demand creativity from him. The theme that we're working with for the album is that we want to, to bring the nation together. We want to bring the whole country together using music by, while still embracing our, our cultural diversity. We want to put out the Kenyan culture. The 60-member choir has turned to technology as they practice and get in tune separately and ultimately as they record the album which is scheduled to be released by March 2022. We are working via Zoom. So we're having the sessions where we share the music in advance and then using technology, I'm able to record the parts for every group. I'm able to record, for example, the tenors. I myself will sing the tenor line and I'm going to break it in sections. I can break it in a chorus so that it's easy to send uh, uh, online via WhatsApp or, uh, or via email. Anyone who has a challenge during our Thursday evening sessions on Zoom, we have those breakout rooms where now the tenors on their own, the sopranos on their own, uh, altos on their own, and then they each go to, uh, through the whole song and their parts, and then the challenging sections, they work on that. Thanks again to technology, Philip has several audio production applications at hand. We send in the guides, they send us back the audios uh, that they've recorded, and then we're able to choose the best. We won't stack up all the 60 voices at once, we'll choose maybe the 20 best for one section, and then if you're, you've sung a different section best, we work on that. If it's a timing issue, we're able to work on that in post-production. Now when it comes to the video, now that's why it becomes a bit tricky. So with the help of, of Mishi and her team, we are able to schedule uh, re video recording sessions. So what we're doing now, each member comes one by one. We shoot their part and then now we combine these uh, again later so that now they come into one video. So with the technology that we're using again, uh, Adobe, uh, after effects, we are able now to position them to look like they were together at that point. Anybody making music in this age and during the pandemic needs to be up to date on the technology they should use to bring out the best despite the circumstances. There is software for every part of the process. And so, despite the challenges brought about by the pandemic, technology and the internet are helping Philip and the Safaricom Choir achieving their goal of not only recording and releasing their album by March 2022, but bring people together through music once again through their combined talents.